And when you're visiting an ill person, what should you say to him? You say, لا بأس طهور إن شاء الله. No problem, إن شاء الله. It is purification. Meaning, this illness, it will cease. However, your sins are being cleansed. Some people, they enter upon the deceased, the ill person. And what do they say to him? They say, by Allah, you're wretched. And, 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 and you know, you're misfortunate. You're not deserving of being ill. And I've got, I have no power to do anything. You know how Britons are like. And it's as if this person is demonstrating that he is more merciful to this person than Allah. It's as if that person is causing him to insult Allah and be, and, and be displeased with the decree of Allah. And the person goes to his house or goes to the hospital and he says, you're not even in a hospital. This is a graveyard you're already in. Or he'll say just a week ago, somebody was in this hospital from my friends and he died. And then that person... He, he was uh, cremated. He was not even buried. And this is how some people, when they visit the ill, they make them lose hope in the mercy of Allah. But this person who studied Kitab al-Tawheed, he goes to the, the ill person, okay. gives him the greetings of Salam. Allah. He makes the dua, la ba's tahuran, insha'Allah. And this person reminds the ill person that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, how amazing is the fear of the believer, all of his affairs, goodness. And that ill person will say, look, every day come and visit me. Some people are like shaitan, in fact, more severe than shaitan.